So to address the questions that we had about the four that was occurring in the work, I simply copied down the diagram and then we know that the measure of CAD is actually defined as three times the measure of BAC. So if I knew what BAC was, I would multiply it by three and that would give me angle CAD. The same thing is true with CBE, and this has to do with the parallel lines that you're given in the earlier explanation you posted. And that would also be three times the measure of this angle right here. So the key here is that we have to realize that we could substitute three times the measure of BAC anytime we see this. So when I create a statement where I'm adding this angle to this one, I can replace or substitute that in terms of BAC so that I can actually solve this. So I have three times the measure of BAC plus one times the measure of BAC. These are like terms. So I can do three plus one is going to be four times the measure of BAC. So that's where the four is coming from. It's like three X plus one X, and that's how you're obtaining four in this step.